Live in Studio B, joining us now on the Deseret First Credit Union Hotline via Zoom is West Coast Conference freshman and player of the year, making history, Violet Zavodnik. Violet, congratulations on both of those big-time awards. Thank you so much. How did you find out that you were not just the freshman of the year, but the player of the year? Where were you and who told you? Um, so we were on our way to our tournament. So we were kind of like in our locker room area and Nate comes by and was like telling you, it was literally just me and Riley in the room. She's like, oh, like here's the, like, the announcements. You can't make any announcements. And like he said it and I was like literally just shocked. There's no words on my face, nothing, literally just blank. It's crazy, right? And, and, and frankly, I was a little disappointed. 513 in conference, I thought you could have hit 600. I just really thought <laughs> you just mailed it in, Violet. I'll, I'm just kidding. That was an amazing season from you, and, and it was fun to call a couple of games this year. Not only your glove and center field, but uh, your just ability to get on base, and, and it was awesome. So what did you expect this year to be versus what it turned out to be so far? Honestly, I was coming in with, like, no, like, I just didn't – feel like college was just going to be like this. I came in just knowing, hey, I'm just going to play softball with people who are older than me, the seniors that haven't graduated, and then coming in, I was like, I didn't expect any of this, like enjoying it, having the best team in the world, and kind of just like being myself and like succeeding together. How did you end up at BYU of all places? Because you had options, plenty of them, coming out of high school in Southern California. Um, honestly, when I came to visit, I had a bunch of teammates on my travel team that came there, especially like Natalie, she was a catcher, Carly Brown, she's a pitcher. They like were talking to me about BYU and then I took a visit and I absolutely fell in love. Like it came like home, everything like just came to me. I just felt like this was a place for me to be. Spencer told me that you played high school baseball. What walk us through that and that you did pretty well. Like not softball, yes. baseball. <laughs> Yeah, so um, when I came to high school, my sister was a senior and played softball our freshman year, but then things happened, so like we stopped. But my junior year, we had a new baseball coach, and I was very close to him. Like We were really good friends. Like He helped me like when I needed like people to hit me or I need batting practice. Like He's there. So then he said, come out and try out. So I tried out for the baseball team, and honestly, it was so much fun. The boys, the way that they play, like I don't know, it's hands down probably one of the funnest years I've ever had. How'd you how'd you hit? What was your batting average? I'm pretty sure it was in the 300s. I think my senior year, uh -huh. I was like 316, 320 yeah. around yeah. that area. That's incredible. Um, tell tell because there's obviously there's a difference. Um, but what was it like to play that and then you transition back to something? It was definitely hard in the beginning, but honestly, I think it benefited me so much learning more range because like since baseball field is a little bit bigger, it was able to like open my eyes and like know that I have more range to my right or to my left. But like, and then for hitting, like with the pitching being so different to coming overhand, I feel like I had to like kind of focus on the ball more. So when it came to softball, I was able to like pick spins or like picks different speeds and that kind of just benefit me from that. Mm. Yeah, it's becoming clear. You hit over 500 in softball because you hit over 300 in baseball, Violet. <laughs> that is incredible stuff. Violet Zavodnik, the player and freshman of the year in the West Coast Conference with us on BYU Sports Nation. You're headed to the NCAA tournament. In fact, you're in Tempe right now. Just finished up uh, some of your COVID testing. How are you feeling as a team as you prepare for Virginia Tech and what we think is probably going to be a matchup with Arizona State? We're ready. Honestly, it's at this point, we played Arizona back in preseason and things happened, but we're ready. Honestly, we're so hyped. We're so excited. We're going to, we're going to take it. We're going to win. It would be the second regional in BYU history. It'd be a notable accomplishment. Getting to the postseason always good as well, but walk us through those first uh, two games with Arizona state that started the season, a seven, two loss, and then a seven, five loss that went, uh, you know, extra innings into eight. What, what, what will be different about this time? I think for us, since we were such a young team and we kind of like, it was our first game together, first like game out of BYU, out of Provo. I think now like coming back to it, we're already ready. We had our season, we had conference, we had everything. We're kind of a team now. And I mean, don't get me wrong, we were a team in the beginning, but I think we're a team now. And I think honestly, we're so like, we would just love, each other and I feel like now that we're unbeatable we can just 
we can win. I like that. I just looked at the box score from the first game, and I realized that you hit a homer in your first game in college. <laughs> Yeah, I did. It was my first at bat. Didn't think that was going to happen either. <laughs> well, you're pretty good at this. You're pretty good. Um, this team is used to winning, like you said. You said you feel unbeatable. What What is it about the makeup of this team that makes you feel like you guys are going to get out of the regional and go to the Super Region? For me, honestly, this is like my family, like my, my home away from home, like everyone on this team, like, they treat me like sisters or family. Like, I think when it comes down to it, like I would die for any of them. They would die for me. It's just kind of like that bond that I feel like no one else has. And like, we just created it. And it's just something that for me, I don't think it's unstoppable. You play with a very experienced veteran and uber talented outfield in Riley Jensen and Hannah Joe Peterson. How has playing with those two specifically helped you in your transition into college softball it's it's been great honestly riley jensen like so much eye-opening like i learned from her i definitely look up to her and all everything that she's done with hannah joe like she's just that calming person like i definitely get a little hyped a little like over anxious in the outfield and like with those two by my side i just calm down and like we are just unbeatable because as an outfield I just love them. Like I learned so much from both of them, the wiseness from Riley and then just having Joe there by my side, calming me down. It just, it's just unbelievable. I love your name. It's very fun to uh, say as a play by play. Uh, tell us the origin of, of your first name, Violet. And then where is the Vodnik from? Okay. So Violet is from my dad's side, I believe. I'm not sure, honestly, because they created our names between both sides of our family. So it's from my dad's side, which is uh, Polynesian. And then my last name is also from my dad's side, and it's Czechoslovakian. Mm, Polynesian and Czechoslovakian. Yes. Wow, that's quite the combination. I like that. (laughs) 41 combined home runs between the three outfielders. Just doing some math on the screen right there. Uh, What is it about the outfield specifically that makes you so powerful and effective at the plate with the long ball? Honestly, I don't know. Having us with Riley one, Joe two, and me three, I think we do this thing in the in the beginning, and we're like, oh, we're gonna link up today. We're gonna have all our power sticks. Like, even though like if one's not linked up with us, we're still unbeatable. But with all three of us, it's so powerful because we just both we all want each other to like succeed and to cheer each other on and just have a good year. And you bat one, two, three, which is super fun. So it feels like you guys just kind of control the game because you're the outfield and you bat one, two, three, which is really fun. Tell us about the heat in Tempe. It's going to be a high in 97 today. I was just there last week. It was 100, right? I'm there because I can swim in my mom's pool. You know what I'm saying? You do, it's different for you. You got to play. And these are high stakes. So uh, are, are you guys drinking extra water? Did you take the pickle juice down there? What are you guys going to do to stay <laughs> hydrated? <laughs> Well, we definitely got a lot of water at the grocery store yesterday, so I think we're going to be drinking a lot, lots of water. But I don't know about the pickle juice one. Have you, have you heard that thing at BYU, pickle juice for cramps? No, I haven't. Okay, so apparently farmers, the, the, the old wives' tale is that the farmers would be out all day in the sun, and so uh, to avoid cramps, they would drink pickle juice. Tastes terrible. Oh, I've wow. tried it. It's awful. <laughs> apparently, it, apparently, it's like the best thing ever for cramps. So if you get real desperate, just tell the train, hey, we need some pickle Pickle juice juice. in here, and they'll know what to do. (laughs) Okay, I will. All right, Violet, let's let's finish with this. Is there a revenge factor in your mind with Arizona State? Oh, for sure. (laughs) For sure. There's no doubt. Honestly, like this time around, it's game. Like it's it's war pretty much. We're going to come out and we're going to be strong. Okay, well, let's give you some BYU <clears throat> Sports Nation karma. Uh, and I don't know. You should ask Riley Jensen about that if you don't know about it. You should ask Hannah Joe Peterson about that. You take it. You're already awesome. You'll play even better with the BYU Sports Nation karma. So take that. Good luck against Virginia Tech. And uh, we cannot wait to talk to you again. Thank you so much. Thank you for having me. You got it. The West Coast Conference Fresh.